So in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use a cardboard fill in QGIS to create a nice textured effect for filling polygons. Um, thanks to Richard and Raymond for the nice cards that I used for getting the cardboard texture. So at the QGIS Hackfest, um, Richard and Raymond shared out some um, old floppy disks, which were actually just cardboard coasters, but um, they're pretty cool. And I thought I'd use them to make the texture for this tutorial. So what I've done is I've just taken a photo of it and um, I've flipped it over, taken a photo of the back, and then opened it in the GIMP. I'm just busy opening it now in the GIMP. And um, now I'm just going to um, use the GIMP's map tool, um, which is in the filters menu, to go and make that little um, cutout piece seamless. Um, so that, that what that will do is that when you tile these little images side by side, you won't be able to see an edge between the two tiles. Um, and then I'm also just uh, lightening the image here a little bit. Once that's done, then I'm just saving it into my uh, folder where, I, where I'm putting my textures and giving it a nice name. So I just call it QGIS Coasters, uh, Coaster Texture. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to QGIS once it's saved and um, take that texture and use it as a fill for a polygon. All right, so here's my rather boring looking map of South Africa and I want to lively it up a bit by making this look like it's made out of cardboard. The first thing I'm going to do is use that texture and I'm going to use the raster image fill um, renderer and then go and find that texture on my disk and then set that as the texture to fill this um, uh, these polygons with and I'll just say OK and you'll see that the boring red color gets changed with now the, um, the texture that I've created. And I'm going to add to that by just putting the country uh, provincial boundaries back in by adding a line layer and I'm going to do some uh, simple blur effects and a, and a line texture fill on top of that brown um, texture that I've taken. So you see now I'm adding like a striped line fill onto the, um, onto the polygons. So it looks like a bit like corrugated cardboard now. Now I'm going to put the country, uh, the provincial boundaries in. All right, so now we've got the provincial boundaries. And then I'm going to add a uh, another line which is the shape burst, uh, another uh, symbol layer which is going to be the shape burst um, fill. And what that's going to let me do is create sort of a blur effect starting from the um, from the lines and then fading away into nothing. So I'm just creating a simple gradient which goes from gray to transparent. And then I'm setting a defined distance from the edge of each polygon so that it goes only five pixels away from the line and then fades away. I'm using pixels as my distance here. And then I'm going to blur that um, uh, shape burst heavily so that it, it becomes quite subtle. All right. And there we have it. So that's how you create a cardboard effect. Um, you can use any texture, a good idea, just take your cell phone and just go and take photos of different things and then clip out a small piece. Um, you might want to play around with different sizes to find the, the sweet spot of how big the texture should be. And um, try different materials like wood and uh, fabric and um, cardboard and see which ones give you an interesting appearance. Thanks for watching.